I'm Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on quadratic relations. Let me thank all the viewers and subscribers for taking keen interest in my videos and making excellent suggestions. Here is a very interesting question from one of our subscribers. It's about uh, Sydney Harbour Bridge, which was built in 1932. So that's a landmark, almost 90 years back. Still, it is an iconic figure, a world heritage, and one of the best bridges in the world, maintaining many records. Okay, so the dimensions here are not the true dimensions. They have been uh, taken for easier calculation, correct? So remember that part. Let's read the question and see what do we need to do. The Sydney Harbour Bridge has its main steel arc in the shape of a parabola. The longest vertical support steel cable situated 135 meter from the origin. So from the origin O, 135 meters from the origin is 182.25 meter height. So that's the height, right? The road is situated 50 meters above the base of the pylon, sea level. So that's the sea level. This blue line is the sea level. And that's the road, 50 meters above. The base of the pylon are at sea level on each bank. So we are assuming this is the sea level, all horizontal. Part A is we need to find a mathematical model of the arch, this parabolic arch. B, determine where the arch meets the road and hence determine the length of the road under the arch. So we are interested in, so this is the road, so that is the point of intersection, correct? So we need to find the length of this road. There are 19 vertical steel cables. So these are 19 vertical steel cables, equally spaced. So it, I took time to construct all this. They're not equally spaced, but think they are, okay? Calculate the length of steel cable required for the construction of the support. So combined length of all these 19 steel cables. So that's the question for you. You can always pause the video and answer the question, right? So remember, these are not the true dimensions, but they are nearly. Okay, but they are kind of better for our calculation work, right? So let's get back to our fundamentals about quadratic relations. To get the model, we can use two types of equation. We can use these two as the x-intercepts and the, the form, which is the factored form. Or we can use this point here as the vertex, right? And then we can use uh, vertex form. So any form could be used for writing down the equation. Uh, let me use the form, vertex form, right? So we'll say f of x equals to a times x minus. So at a distance of 135 from the origin, we have maximum height of 182.25. So that gives you the vertex form. Now we need to find what is A. So A we can find by substituting the point origin, 0, 0, correct. And then we can calculate the value of A. So let's do it. So if I substitute 0 here, then what do I get? So actually, uh, I'll do my calculations here itself. So we get 0 equals to A times 0 minus 135 whole square plus 182.25. Now from here we can take 182.25 to the left side, right? Divide by 135 square to get the value of A. So we get 182.25, which will be negative, right? And we'll divide by the square of this, which is 135. Minus is within the square, right? So it becomes plus equals to A. This value is very interesting and that is a huge approximation in our dimensions, right? So it is 182.25 divided by 
the square of 135 and that is 1 over 100. Do you see that? So the value of A is 1 over 100 which you could write in decimals as 0 0.01. Correct? So, so that's a beautiful equation to work with. So let me rewrite the equation which is right here and that is going to help us to find the solution of this particular question. So we can now write the equation as f of x equals to minus, right? This should be minus, right? Okay. 0 0.01 times x minus 135, okay, whole square plus 182.25, clear? Now with this equation, so we have done the first part, we got the mathematical model. Second part here is determine where the arch meets the road and hence determine the length of the road, right? So we'll find the point of intersection of this particular path with the road, right? So this point. So let's do it on the next page. So now let us figure out the other parts of this question. We already have got the mathematical model for the arch. Determine where the arch meets the road and hence determine the length of the road under the arch. So this is the part which we are going to do now. So let me uh, redraw the parabolic path of the bridge. Right, so we'll make a, a rough estimate. Okay, so, so this is the bridge for us. The road is 50 meters above the sea level. That's the sea level. We found that uh, the equation was f of x equals to minus 0 0.01 times x minus the center value, which was 135 square plus the maximum height, which was 182.25, correct? So we use the vertex form to find the model. Now we have to actually figure out where will this R intersect the road, which is 50 meters above. So basically, we need to find when f of x is equal to 50, then what is the value of x? This is what we need to figure out, right? So, so that's an easy calculation. I'd like you to pause the video, answer, and then look into my suggestions. Correct? So we'll actually get two values. So we'll get both these points. Let's calculate. So first step, take away 182 from 50. Let me do here. So we have 50 minus 182.25 equals to minus 0 0.01 x minus 135 whole square then we'll divide by this number so we have 50 minus 182.25 divided by minus 0 0.01 so that will make this positive x minus 135 whole square right so and then we'll do square root right so we'll do square root of this number Whenever you do square root, you have to do plus and minus, correct? So when you do square root both sides, you get x minus 135 here. Now, let's calculate this value. So, so I'll do actually, we'll reverse this. We know it is positive now. 182.25 minus 50. And then we are going to divide by 0 0.01. That gives us a value which is 13225. Now let's find square root of this answer, which is plus minus 115, right? So that is x minus 135, clear? So that's how you're going to calculate. So clearly from here, we get two values of x, so which are 135 plus minus 115 is the value of x, okay? So the two values which you get from here are what? So, so let me write down here these two values. So if I add this, we get 5 and 5 as 10. Then 
1 plus 3 plus 1, 5, and 1 plus 1, 2, 250. And when I subtract, I get 20. So basically, we get these two points, clear? So this is at 20, and that is at 250. What do we need to find? So we need, we found the point of intersection, hence determine length of the road, right? So we can write length of the road, is how much? 250 take away 20, correct? So which is 230 meters. The units are all in meters, correct? The units are in meters. Perfect, both sides. Is that clear to you? So that is uh, kind of simpler once you get your equation and all. Now, we'll look into the third part, which is talking about the material used, right? There are 19 rods. So let's look into the third part on a fresh page. Okay, now uh, we'll find, so we have already done the mathematical model. We have also done the arc above the road. Okay, we'll do this. And then there are 19 vertical steel cables. Calculate the length of steel cables. Let me again sketch uh, the parabola. I love sketching it. Okay. That gives you a feel, kind of, right? So, uh, so that's the parabola. A bit smaller this time. And uh, we have a road. Okay. We also figured that, uh, well, let me uh, write the center, which is at 135. Now, I remember all these things. 180.25. And this we got at 20. Here we got this one at, uh, so total was, this is 250, correct. Uh, well, that was 270, right. Double of 135 is 270, okay. Well, I did not mention few parts of this question where one of them was the span of the bridge, right. So, so the span of the bridge is 270 meters. I skipped that part. Uh, we do have the model. The model for us is f of x equals to minus 0 0.01 x minus 135 whole square plus the height 182.25, right? So let me also mention here that the span of the bridge at sea level is 270 meters. That is twice 135, right? Which we we could do two times 135. Since 135 is the center point, correct? So mm -hmm. straight away you could get 270. And that is how I was saying we could use the factored model to find the equation of this parabola also, right? Okay. Now, we need to calculate the length of these steel rods, right? So they are equally placed. So they are equally placed. Nine on this side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine on the other side, okay? So imagine they are equally placed. Now the idea here is that we have to find their height each and then add them up. So first step should be what? So, so for finding the length of the rod, let's say we say F of uh, R, steel rods. We'll actually subtract 50 from here. So we have a new equation for the parabola starting from this place to that place, right? So, so 0 0.01 x minus 135 whole square plus we'll take away 50, right? So we'll find the length. That is better actually. So once you take away 50, you get what? Uh, you get your new function. Uh, which I am saying 
we are going to model the arch above the road, right? So model the arch above the road. That's what I'm trying to figure out now. So we do it by taking away 50. This was 2, 5. Okay. So it becomes plus, so 5 less than this is 132.25. Clear? So, so that becomes the, now the equation for us. Okay, we directed 50. So it became 132.25. So that's one part. Now the second part is that we know the center value is at 135. What is this value, right? That we don't know. How do we get to that? Now one way is that we know the span, which is how much. Uh, let's work do some calculations so so here this span is what so span of road is basically 250 minus 20 which was 230 for us correct now this should be divided equally into 19 units correct so what you could do is approximate it so we'll just do approximate value we'll divide it by 20 is that clear? So, so 230 divided by 20 is approximately 11.5, right? So, so this is approximately equal to 11.5, right? We actually want uh, 19 spaced out, not 20. So we can take a higher value, right? So, so you understand? So we divide by 20, not 19, correct? So we got a value 11.5. You could do by 20 or 19 also. So you could do 230 divided by 19. And what you get here is 12.1. So if you do, uh, let's do 230 divided by 19, you get 12.1, right? So that's also correct. So that really means that each unit will be around 12 from here, right? So, so we can use 12 bit spacing so that gives you an idea that spacing of 12 meters between rods is that clear to you so we divide it better do this right forget this divide by 19 take it smaller we are not going up to the end that leaves the margin correct and we get 12.1, so we'll use 12 as our margin. So unit 12 spacing we'll use, 12 meters. Is that clear to you? Okay, so 12 from the center, from 135, clear? So, so what we could do now is calculate this value for each length, each length of the rod, and then add them up, correct? So... Uh, we'll begin from 135, go to one end, and twice they are symmetrical, right? So we see even symmetry. Is that clear? So we're talking about 19 vertical steel cables, one, nine on each side. Is that okay? So we know that the length of this for 135 is basically how much 132.25 okay. so if I substitute 135 here the first term will be 0 and what I get is 132.25 correct let's do the right side keep on adding 12 keep on adding 12 correct so and calculate the values so for these one two so next one here is how much will be f of 135 plus 12 which will be 147 you get my point right let's calculate this value and then we'll do 12 more right so means 159 right calculate this value so so we'll get a couple of values right so let me just uh, space it out and then we'll use the calculations and then we'll calculate for after this we have to add 12 to 171 then we get add another 12 183 
add another 12 where 195 right so space it out okay it's right here 195 and another 12 will give us 207 and here let's write down so 1 2 3 4 5 6 uh, we can go up to 250 right okay that's easy so another 12 will give us 219 another 12 231 and the last one here will be the height of the rod when x value is 243 correct so these values are symmetrical we can find calculate these values and then twice them add 132.25 to get the answer is that clear to you correct so using calculator i'm going to do it many students have not done sequences and series so we'll not get into complicated series which involves squares okay so we're going to use this particular formula here so i'll rewrite the formula we are saying f of r is in general equal to 132.25 minus 0 0.01 x minus 135 whole square right so 132.25 minus 0 0.01 within brackets now the x value is 147 147 minus 135 whole square equals to so when you do uh, my calculator gives you in fractions we'll do decimals so we get this value as 130.8 one correct so now we are going to change this value so this may take some time you can actually pause the video and calculate yourself 159 this time right so 159 answer in decimals gives us 126.49 so we'll now make it 171 so if you go the way i'm doing it it doesn't really take that much of time so it is 119.29 correct now again so we have to repeat this nine times okay so after 171 it is 183 and the answer is 109.21 now 195 195 the answer in decimals is 96.25 207 the answer now in decimals is 80.41 and now 219 so uh, also check my answers right there could be calculation mistakes uh, the idea is to understand the method correct now let's get back to this again and add the uh, last two values which is 22231 equals to decimal 40.09 and then 243 that's the last value not bad 243 in decimals is 15.61 so we got all the lengths right now once we have all these lengths we'll now add these the ones in blue and then multiply by two right so so let me say uh, sum of lengths is now how much is equal to so what i'm going to do now add these blue ones multiply by two and then add 132.25 is that clear to you so let's do this so we'll do 130.81 plus 126.49 plus 119.29 plus 109.21 plus 96.25 plus 80.41 plus 61.69 plus 40.09 plus 15.61 so we get some value we are going to multiply this by 2 right and whatever you get 
you add to this 132.25 so we get a total length in decimals as we get 1691.95 okay units definitely are meters is that clear so what we did was we kind of added all these numbers and then times them by 2 and then we added 132.25 to get our result is that clear to you so we get our answer and that is total so calculate the length of the steel length of the steel is 169.99 there's something wrong 1691.95 sorry 1691.95 so at the end we were going to do a mistake 1691.95 as the result shown by the calculator perfect now i like you to check the calculations there were a lot of calculations especially at the end to calculate these lengths of the rods so i hope that works well alternative could have been you could have worked with the same equation and then take away 19 times 50 right you could do that also anyway so i hope you understand and appreciate how to solve such a question again let me thank my subscribers for sharing real life situations and how to model them i hope you all appreciate and understand it feel free to write your comment share your views and if you like and subscribe to my videos that'd be great thanks for watching and all the best